Beaver, what's up? What's going on? Guess who just got a giant box from GameStop? Oh, wait. It's Hot Topic, and the box is not even that big. But yes, I got another package. We're back with another video. Let's get into it. People, so let's open this box. It's pretty decent shape. One little bang right here from Hot Topic. I said GameStop early it was an accident. We should have some NYC CC pops in here, some regular pops too. Unless they split up my order, I definitely hope not. Damn. I'm gonna do some stronger tape. What the f All right. I can open a box. No problem. <laughs> ah, look at that. All right, one of these things doesn't have a protector. That never happened to me before from Hot Topic. All right. I'm going to take these boxes out. Got one. Two. Three. Some paper. Anybody wants paper? And um, so we're gonna start with the one that doesn't have a box. Which is pretty cool. Black Star. Which is pretty dope actually. Um so it's from Soul Eater, if you know who Black Star is, it's a great anime. Recommend it. Manga 2 is great. Um they basically create weapons for Oof. And I didn't even do that because this box was sideways. Wow. There's a scratch on my box. There's a scratch on my box right there. That's all right. Um, yeah, they basically create weapons for the Grim Reaper, Death himself. So they go out collecting souls, trying to make the perfect weapon. This is Soul Eater number 778. <laughs> and this is Black Star number 778. In the back we have his weapon, Tatsubaki, which is pretty cool. Or Subaki, Subaki here. Yeah. Um, I know when the first wave of Funko Pops came out for this, it was only two and it was sold at Maka. Those are the ones I definitely want, but if I start with something, I can definitely complete the set whenever I want. So this is pretty cool. Let's go for the next box. I'm going to start with this one right here. Sydney. Oh. And we're starting off strong already. Look at this. Your boy Nightwing. Let's, at least they put this in a box, because if this was, it would have been jacked up, that would have been like, terrible. But this is pretty dope. Love the colors on him. It's like a fake, almost classic Nightwing. This is really, really dope. Let's take him out the box. This one is definitely going to be for myself, and I'll keep him separate for everything else. So let's see. Now, this is definitely freaking clean. Very clean pop. Even the abs on him, the chest. It's dope. It's really clean. Love the two sticks. This is the one that turns into the staff. It looks like the one that turns into the staff. This is really dope. Even the hair. It's just clean. They really paid attention to details on this. Even like, you know, there's some bleeding ink parts, but I don't even care about that. Just the overall clean, clean pop. You could definitely style this. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't change the color on Nightwing, but this is definitely cool. Now let's open another Xbox. So I'm assuming this one is also the other Nightwing that I ordered, but that's from my buddy. I'm gonna have to wait for him to come and get it, or I'll send it to him. So I know he, he really wanted that, and I'm glad I was able to get it for him before it sold out. If Nightwing sold out, I know the, the website was really slow and terrible. And the next spot, here we go. Hey, the other guy from Soul Eater, the, the basically, um, that son, the Grim Reaper son. You don't go that much on that, maybe on the book, I barely remember, but um. They got his two weapons on the side. So this is Death the Kid, number 781, Liz and Patty. Maybe they should have done a three-pack set, but technically if you don't buy the three-pack set, that's okay because Liz and Patty are his weapons and they turn into the guns that he is holding. So um, let's take Death the Kid out the box and take a look at him. If anybody out there watches Soul Eater, do you think Death the Kid would be okay with his own pop figure? 
because you know he has this OCD, OCD thing where everything is not symmetrical, he'll lose his mind. He almost lost the fight because something wasn't symmetrical and almost died. But um, yeah, I mean, what's her in pops? If you really like it, I say go for it. But this one, it's not bad at all. I mean, like, yeah, some things are off, but that's perfectly fine. I just think it's funny when you think about, like, the character that you try to get. I mean, he has, like, this whole CP thing about things being symmetrical. Like, one episode, somebody, like, cut half of his hair, and he lost his mind. But his hair was never symmetrical to begin with because he should always have the white straps all the way around. But anyway, that's not what this is about. This is about these Funko Pops. So, yeah, this is my second New York City Comic-Con pop. Didn't go to Comic-Con this year because there wasn't one, so we brought some pops. Wait a second. They said they would have put a goddamn... Oh, wait. Is it in here? Hey, it's in here. Look at this. A little bonus thing, and it fell out. They gave me... I think that's anybody who ordered thing, anything from Hot Topic during the um, Comic-Con release. But I got a virtual button. Let's see if we can make this a little bit clearer for people. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Now it's backwards anyway. It just says virtual, virtual con, IV. So yes, the MMG, no like, comment, subscribe. I'll come back to you guys with more videos. Stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy.